Hi, we're going to our intervale walk right now. Uh, what day is it today? It's June 20th, 21st. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It was gloomy earlier, but now it's really sunny. Um, like, put, we put on our sunscreen, getting ready to um, prepare to talk to trees. <laughs> hey, so right now uh, I arrived at the intervale. Uh, there's Phoebe right there. Uh, there's a bunch of pollen going around. Nice sunny day with the uh, green grass. Um, it's, oh wait, there, it's, this, is, um, this is Burlington Dairy. Apparently red barns are iconic Vermont thing. Hi, so we're finally starting to walk into the intervale and this willow right here is Burlington's voted number one favorite tree. Uh, so there's a bee hive right here, farm right here. So I just need to be careful not to get bitten. Oh well. Here's Denise. Hello. So what do you think about this place? Very green, very fun. Very yeah. Is there's a bunch of pollen going on, uh, blowing in my face. Um, but it's a beautiful place. So this is the start of the Calkins Loop Trail. Um, you just gotta be careful of the tick bites. So if you do hike around here, you gotta check for ticks in your body. Hey, Phoebe. Hey. <laughs> so talking to Patrick yesterday, um, he actually said that this, this trail right here has been endured a lot of deterioration due to um, people um, picking a lot of the ferns to, to eat, the foraging. Uh, so fiddleheads, yes, fiddleheads. Uh, so now there used to be fiddleheads all along, and now it's only in small patches. Fiddleheads are important because they keep the invasion of Japanese knotweed. This there's is a lot of. Well, I know this is the Japanese knotweed, but there's a lot of invasive species here. Actually, yeah. And so fiddleheads are important for keeping the forest native vegetation. And so once it's removed in an unsustainable way, it frees up the space for invasive species. To Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think about caterpillars, Phoebe? Thank you from this distance. Nice. We, we see here the biologist in action. <laughs> and this is one of the greenhouses at the Intervale. This one is for the new forms for new Americans through the Association of Africans Living in Vermont Incorporated. Um, and here we are with the UVM interns, at Maria and Tatiana. I'm not Korean, so you can make your videos. This is where the farmers share their equipment. Um, this is the farmer complex. And as you can tell, this building is kind of where the farmers meet up. It's, uh, it's a welcome sign right there. I can tell that um, there was rain that happened, but now it's nice weather, so. We took a detour. Now we're at the Intervale Community Farm. It's a beautiful place with a lot of artwork, um, gardening, farming, uh, places where kids play. There's even bike racks and uh, a place where people can cook and do their dishes and even eat the food that they're growing. 
Oh, look at this beautiful. This is pergola. Uh, that's a new word I learned from Stephanie uh, yesterday. Yeah, shout out to Stephanie. Access area, build food security and community. This looks like a wonderful place where you're gonna look at this paintings. The shaded area. Oh wow, look at the, they have fencing. Yeah, it's not rabbit proof though. I wonder who made all these paintings for the farm. Oh wow. Wow, this beautiful chalkboard here. The kids can draw and be artistic. And then there's this free library right here, this little free library where you can take a book or return a book. Um, there's a lot of cookbooks here. Uh, Phoebe just mentioned that maybe an idea is to, um, you want to tell us your idea? Yeah, I was thinking, um, inspired by this library that has a bunch of cookbooks, maybe we could develop some sort of program where users of the community garden can share their own family um, recipes. Um, I think that would be a really cool way to build community and to learn new things and uh, to encourage people to grow and utilize uh, plants that they maybe weren't utilizing initially. That could be really cool. Well, that's Phoebe, our resident urban planner. <laughs> so Denise, what do you think about farm in the community farm that we're at right now. Very pretty. Um, it inspires me a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. There's potential out there. Yeah. If you really put the community in, you can get this. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so much beautiful artwork here. They made it colorful. This is the compost bin. Uh, but as you asked, is it vermiculture? So right now I'm at the docks next to Lake Champlain with Phoebe here. We just got um, cheap wool socks, uh, three pairs for 15. Okay, so that was amazing. And I uh, gotta look at this amazing evening view. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this beautiful view of the lake. Today is uh, Saturday and we're at Burlington Farmer's Market with Denise and uh, there's Phoebe in front of me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what are some like unique or like, interesting things you've seen so far at the market? Um, I had a really good turnip. It, yeah, it like... It was so good. It was your first turnip, right? Yeah, it was really refreshing. I was like, wow. Yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, like, I did not know turnips can be sweet and taste like that. Um, but lots of maple syrup supplies, honey supplies, great food. I just uh, got some cilantro. Cilantro? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. Look how cute it is. Now we just arrived in the Ben and Jerry's factory where on um, right next to us is the Ben and Jerry's flavored graveyard. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's flavored graveyard. Rust in peace chocolate chip cookie dough frozen yogurt and Aloha Macadamia. Ms. Jelena's sweet potato pie. Peanut butter and jelly. Uh, here's some fossil fuel. Budgie dinosaurs galore got all dug up until there were no more. Flavor redesign might be doable, but fossil fuel is non-renewable. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are walking into the factory. Where this, there's this giant silo of sugar. Um, 
Yum. Milk. Cream. I wonder if it, it, it's real. I think that would be a real. good way to go. If you had to die, it would just be like released into a giant silo of sugar. Yeah. I think that's the worst ways to go. Here we are entering the steak forest. So I uh, just ate dinner with Phoebe. Uh, I made some rice and veggies that burned. Oops. <laughs> it was edible though. Um, and now we're just exploring the campus and this is, so this is the music building. And Phoebe here is trying to trespass. I'm always trying. Yeah, what a rebel. Hey everybody, today is Sunday, June 23rd uh, with Phoebe and Denise again. And now we're walking to North Beach. Uh, it's a really sunny day today. Uh, nice day for the beach. So we just arrived at North Beach here. We can see the water, sand, and trees. Denise, are you uh, are you tanning today? Sunbathing. Sunbathing. Phoebe, you're taking a swim. Nice. And then there's some green stuff at the shore, which we think is the pollen from the trees. Hopefully. Hey y'all, today is Monday, June 24th. Uh, I already ate dinner, but here we have Chef Phoebe making some oven roasted tofu and what else is there? We've got a lime coconut peanut sauce and some coconut tofu. Wow, amazing. Healthy and vegetarian. And like all this, with all these greens. Um, cilantro and uh, organic. Diggers Murph Collective Farm Arugula. Right from the farmer's market. Yeah, it's in a giant bottle of lime juice too. Right. It's from Dollar Tree. Just like nice. keep it balanced. Nice. Mm. And now it's about 7 15 and I need to head out to meet up with Denise. Uh, we're gonna go see um, a free comedy show at Skinny Pancake. Hey, so I just arrived at Skinny Pancake with Denise, uh, and we just ordered a crepe. So uh, what crepe did you order? The, the brownie in bed. Yeah, it's literally a brownie inside a crepe. Uh, and as you can see, there's a comedy show going on right now. Uh, now we're just waiting for our crepe. I'm so excited. I just saw something on the hot drinks menu. We had 10 milligrams of CBD any beverage for $3 here. So uh, here's our brownies in bed. <laughs> what do you think? I'm very excited. Yeah, it's so chocolatey. Good evening. Not home crying because it's Monday. Spend it out. Involved in the community, the comedy community. Look at all of you. You people are being social tonight on a Monday night. Give a hand for yourself. That's amazing. <laughs> we have a fantastic lineup for you guys. All right, if you all are in town uh, in Burlington, Vermont, yeah, maybe you should check it out. They have things going on all, all every night on weekdays. Hey. Right. Yeah. 